Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Real Estate. This is Tristan, and this episode is brought to you by Kerbley News. Check us out, K-I-R-B-L-Y.com. That's where we create news by real estate agents for real estate agents. You know, news that matters. All right, this episode is part two. If you missed part one, go back one day. It's there. It's the nine of the hardest rules of life. Now, I have it written out, so I'm going to be reading them to you. It's something that I put together over the years based on uh, the thousand plus interviews I've done and personal experiences that I've had. I left off with number five. Let's get into number six. Four more to go. Six, you're going to piss off a lot of people when you start doing what's good for you. Keep your moves close to your chest until it's time. Reality is this. When you do things that look good to other people, there will be envy. There will be jealousy. That's just the world we live in. And it's best to keep those people at bay for as long as possible because they can either say things behind your back, which they will. They can either do things to try to block you in some way. But the reality is there are people out there who do not like you. And it's best to keep your next moves, whatever they are, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing to yourself. Stop going out there and telling people that you're going to do something. Keep that for your inner circle, those people that are close to you, that you trust, and for yourself. Number seven, you will have massive setbacks in life and in business. Be prepared emotionally because how you respond next will dramatically change your your life. Man, this one's been true every single time. There will be setbacks. And look, you may be going through one now. All of us go through it as humans. It's one thing we share. There are hard times in our lives, whether it's physical, mental, something happens that we didn't expect that's really a detriment. It's breaking us down. But here's the thing. You need to focus on the thing that you can actually control. And that's how you react. Yes, it's hard. Yes, look, I've even broken down in the past. And I've had terrible days. I've had really, really, really bad days. And accept those. Feel those. It's important that you do feel those. But it's also important to look for what's next. What can I learn from this? What do I have control over that I can do next? Because that hope takes you out of the current situation. You have to cling on to something that is better than what you currently are experiencing. And a lot of that has to do with your actions, with your current emotions once you get through what you're feeling. Cling to that. What is that next opportunity? Number eight, consistency in action over a long period of time will build like compound interest. That's very true. But most people will never be patient enough to see who they become. Man, isn't that true? We're so close sometimes, and yet we give up. We quit. We don't see it through. You see that people that have overnight success is usually the people that have been doing it for years, 10 years, 11 years, 15, 20 years, in some cases more. You've got to stick with it for a long period of time. Things take time. Development takes time. Learning takes time. Knowledge takes time. It builds on itself. But let me tell you, when it hit, it hits big. But you have to double down on those things, continually growing and doing that consistently. Action over action. The, mon the monotony of it is the key. Number nine, last one. You will grow the fastest when you finally decide not to care 
about what other people think about you. And that one is my toughest one. Why? I don't know. For me, I'm always looking to please people. I'm always looking to say how other people respond to the things that I'm doing, what I'm saying, um, how I did something, whether or not it was valuable. There are times that I put a lot more emphasis on what other people think. And you may be doing the same thing, but let me tell you, when you break free from that in whole, the amount of growth you'll have is amazing. Why? Because in failure is where success happens the quickest. So the more you focus in on trying new things, exploring new ways of doing something and being okay, looking like an idiot to people, the faster you learn, the faster you grow, because all those other life lessons that we went through are key to this. So you see, I want you to fail faster. I want you to put yourself in situations that are tough, that are challenging for you so you can grow. But first you have to be okay looking like an idiot to other people. Why? Because nobody understands what you're doing. It's your vision. It's your goal. It's your dream. It's not somebody else's. I'll talk to you tomorrow.